Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obita Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today we're checking out a movie-making tycoon. This is Blockbuster Inc. Let's jump into things and see what we have got in store for us. Uh, potato Entertainment. Uh, entertainment. There we go. Uh, cool. Let's go start with normal, starting decade, 1920s. Uh, we can choose some starting genres. Let's leave it as is and let us proceed in. I would not like to play the tutorial because I will do my very best to explain what's going on. So yeah, what's this game all about? It's a tycoon management game where you are the, I guess, manager, director, producer. You are literally all of the parts of the process in a... Uh, in making a movie is kind of great. You need to try and make the best movies that you possibly can. Uh, you need to try and make a whole bunch of money. You need to try and get famous uh, in the movies. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for that information. Let's see what we have got. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Okay. Uh, first things first, let's see if we can try and flesh out our estate a little bit. We're going to see if we can try and build some stuff that we actually need to have uh, to have in uh, in a movie studio. So there's a bunch of pre-made rooms. There's also sort of, I guess, well, there's a lot of granularity that you can go into. We can chat about it in a little bit, but for now, let's get uh, let's get some pre-made rooms. Uh, we're going to get ourselves a producer's office, and I think we'll put it, like, right in the middle of the lot, you know. Sure, like, right about here. Producer's office right about there. We're going to grab ourselves a writer's office right over here. Uh, we're going to get ourselves a research office. All of these buildings, by the way, have got different uh, different requirements for uh, specific objects that need to be uh, that need to be in them. It doesn't really matter at the moment. They all need a desk. They need some filing cabinets. The research thingy. Oh, I've doofed that up, haven't I? Oh well, it doesn't matter. Uh, although I suppose I could change that around uh, if I. Uh, if I wanted to, but hey, look, let's let's leave that let's leave that as is. Uh, toilet, let's do let's do a toilet right over here. Then we can sort of look look to, to create an intentional corridor there, which is quite nice. Uh, canteen, I don't particularly want to worry about the canteen at the moment, and we'll also get a maintenance facility right over there. Okay. That's looking pretty darn good. Uh, let us commit to all of those changes right about now. Happy days. Everything has been built. That is good. Uh, what's next? Uh, well, we're probably going to need to hire some employees. There's a bunch of different roles that we can uh, that we can look to bring people on in. Uh, you are an actor. Congratulations. Uh, we're going to hire you uh, as a, as an actor. Excellent. Uh, it's two actors. That's fine. Uh, there is a director. We'll hire you as a director. We'll hire you as a producer. We'll hire you as a writer. Uh, we'll hire you as crew. We'll hire you as maintenance. Uh, what are you? Staff and research. I don't think we need any staff at the moment, but I will take uh, I will take a researcher. Okay, no work hours in schedule. Don't worry. We are uh, we're we're getting there. Uh, we will fast forward to the next day. In fact, I can probably unpause and uh, and let things just run through. Okay, we've got our staff. We can talk about our staff, uh, our staff issues in uh, in a little bit. But for now, we're pretty reasonably happy with how this is all looking. Uh, employee teams, we don't need to worry about that at all. Charts, we don't need to worry about that. Research, yes, we're going to get a bunch of research tomorrow. Uh, research points are generated by our uh, our researcher. That's fine. We've got a bank. We've got the ability to take out some uh, some loans. Uh, we can sell some studio shares and buy some uh, shares in other companies, if indeed that's something that we're interested in, uh, which is fine. Uh, what we are really interested in, though, is actually making some movies. Um, and this is this is kind of where the fun really starts. Uh, first things first, we can create our uh, we can create a name for the product, uh, the giraffe and the driver. Uh, script writers, we can uh, we can create a movie. The product size is going to be low budget. The genre is going to be specified uh, against our starting uh, genres. I'm going to choose action movie for our first thing. Theme, a vampire action movie. Heck yeah. And this is for general audiences. Sure. We have to choose a producer. We only have one. Uh, we can choose a director and we can choose a writer as well. We can add up to two writers, but we only have one at, uh, at the moment which is 
completely fine. Now, if indeed we want to change around the uh, different sort of stats, or the different genre sliders, so to speak, we can do that. I feel like a vampire action movie needs to have uh, needs to have some conflict, needs to have some suspense, needs to be quite gory, needs to have a little bit of intimacy. In fact, quite a lot of intimacy. Let's let's roll with that. Story low, dialogue low, lore uh, sure, atmosphere. Don't really care about the atmosphere. That seems okay. That seems completely fine. Oh, scene does not have a selected set. Yeah, we need to we need to grab ourselves a set. And uh, I don't think that I actually uh, have a set yet. We're going to need to go back into the build menu and have a little look. There's an outdoor section uh, for some trees. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do anything uh, like that. But I would like to get a default set, uh, which is where we are actually going to make our movies. Let's go right about there. Cool. I think one set for now is completely fine. Uh, but let's not let's not worry. Let's not worry about that too too much. Uh, scene one does not have a set. Scene two does not have a set. Yes, we need to go through this. Uh, we need to go through this here. So, uh, actors. We're going to get both of our actors into the film. I'm not really anticipating that this is going to be a highly successful film, but at least we're going to make a film, and you know, then we're going to take it from there. Scenes and sets. Uh, yeah, we can choose up to four scenes. We are going to choose the one single set that we've got at the moment. It's going to be very, very bland and very, very boring. Do I want multiple... Do I want multiple different different sets? I mean, we could. We could choose multiple different sets here. I think we'll just keep it as, as one for, uh, for the moment. Um, and we can sort of adjust as we go. This is going to be an absolutely terrible first film, but I'm just doing this as a demonstration. Now, the interesting thing is that we can actually jump right into the direct scene phase, which is quite interesting. Oh my goodness gracious me. They're Draculas with Tommy guns. This is kind of crazy. Anyway, we can we can go like really kind of deep into, into what we want to see. We can get different poses on all of these people. There we go. There we go. We'll get you. We'll get you with a pose. Uh, costume. You're in a vampire costume. Pract practical eff effects. Uh, we don't have the ability to get practical effects at the moment, but as soon as we have a little bit of research, we can. And then we can even go so far as to pan the camera in, pan the camera out. I mean, we can decide exactly what we want to do with regards to with regards to framing each and every scene. I don't particularly want to direct every uh, every scene. Uh, but that's okay. Do I need to do, do I need to do this? Do I need to actually, do I need to actually edit a... <laughs> Look, this is going to be, this is going to be an absolutely awful film, isn't it? <laughs> How do I get, do I have a, do I have a, any ghost breathing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be funny. This is gonna be funny. Uh why is this scene so unbelievably long? Yeah, let's maybe let's maybe bring it back in. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Let's save changes. We're we're happy enough with that. Uh <laughs> the giraffe and the driver. Sure. What the heck? I will say by the way, this uh this last this last scene has got a jump and fall stunt in. Uh there are a few different things that we can do with regards to stunts, but none of it particularly matters at the moment. Okay. So that's our first film uh that is made, The Giraffe and the Driver, or at least it's going to start production as soon as we start tomorrow. However, I need to adjust the schedule, and I think we're going to just have like a regular old like 9 to 5. Maybe with a few extra hours. We'll say leave at that time, eat, leisure, that's fine. Meal quality is low, medium quality we can adjust uh, We can adjust later on. But for now, I think we're going to leave this as is. Oh yeah, also uh, we, can, we can adjust the, um, we can adjust the setup of uh, of each set here. So the set theme is vampire at the moment. We can change that. We can buy additional uh, cameras. We can buy additional 
the microphones. We can buy additional lighting setup. We can buy a fire machine, a smoke machine, etc. I don't want to do any of that at the moment. Uh, I just want to fast forward to the next day because I would like the opportunity to actually make my film, which is going to be great. Okay, skip forward to the working hours and then let's see if we can try and produce a film. Okay, unable to reach a canteen table. Oh yeah, I did actually kind of forget to put a canteen table in. Let's forget that let's forget that I put that in. We can do that for tomorrow. Okay. Leisure time. Leisure time seems like an absolute joke. I'm going to put in another work hour. Okay. Get to work everybody. This is going to be this is going to be the greatest movie. This is going to be the greatest movie of never. So each and every stage of the film process needs to be actioned by one individual. The first stage of the process is writing. Uh, that is going to be done by the writer, Carolyn Perry. Uh, she's going to sit down. She's going to write the screenplay. And we can actually see the progress for that happening uh, right now. You're going to jump into the, uh, into the research place. That's great. And let's get the screenplay done. And then uh, let us move to the next stage. And we will film all of the scenes. And because it's all on one set, it should be fairly easy for us to do. Just in case of filming scene one, two, three, and four. Uh, we do need... We do need a... What is it? We need a director, we need our actors, and we need the producer. Oh no, we need a crew. We need a director and we need the crew. And then we need the two actors as well. Now, whilst this is happening here, all the filming is taking place. Extensive filming. Doesn't look like it's that complicated to me, but that's that's fine. Um, we can we can take a little look. Can I click on can I click on the actor? Yeah, let's take a little look at uh, at these at these actor skills. Uh, Nicholas here is 31 years old. He is a nobody. Uh, he's not very famous. Uh, we can't we can't train or educate uh, their skills. Uh, actors have two skills: ca charisma and athletic. And if we are able to increase these, then generally they become better actors. At least that's the the theory, anyway. Um, and we will be uh, able to train these people up. They've also got uh, they've also got a bunch of different other sort of requirements. Some actors require housing, so they require some bonuses uh, in addition to you know just being actors. So we can actually go and uh, sort of like house actors in different parts of the city. Pinnacle Hills. I mean, we could choose a star. Monthly rent ten thousand dollars. Minimum fame required. A superstar. Uh, alternatively, I mean, what a fairly unknown over here. Green Springs is a B-lister. Downtown LR up and coming. Look at this. Look at this. Anyway. Ooh, okay. Uh, the first scene has finished. Now, interestingly, the scene has been given a rating of 49%. Honestly, not, not bad, uh, but not exactly like anything to write home about. Everybody is hungry at the moment. That's okay. We're going to send everybody back. I might actually get myself a canteen for tomorrow. Yeah, I might get a canteen. I might get a canteen in place. It's taken a little bit longer than I was anticipating to get this first film out of the door. But you know what? That's that's okay. Uh, let's get a canteen. Put that down. Over here. Okay, that's fine. And we'll hire... Hire staff. Excellent. Good. Arrives and begin uh, begins work tomorrow. That should be okay. I hope tomorrow is today. But I guess we'll see. Either way, we're almost finished scene two. Okay. Everybody into the canteen. Doesn't look like anything is really happening there. But that is fine. Scene rating of 46. That is brilliant. You absolutely love to see it. These are some pretty dodgy scenes. Uh, they don't really seem to go together at all, but that's fine. Okay, scene four is almost flipping finished. Goodness gracious me, this is taking a long time. This is taking a long time. However, stuff is consistent. Stuff is definitely consistent. Uh, what I will say is that we can start the process of creating a brand new uh, movie before we're even finished with the old one. And honestly, let's maybe try for a romance. A medieval romance, general audiences, 
Uh, producer, yeah, you're you're currently working on the existing film, but at least the writing can start. That'd be quite good. Uh, no gore, a uh, little bit of suspense, no conflict, atmosphere, a little bit, story, yes, dialogue, yes. Cool. What do we need? We need some sets and we need some actors. Uh, let's just get one. Let's just get Nicholas. Let's get Nicholas here. Default set, small set, vampire theme. Um, can we maybe not get a vampire theme? Can we maybe get a slightly different set here? A stunt, uh, a stu we can get like a stunt stage. It looks like the same type of set to me. Um, yeah, can we only, oh, we can get, we can definitely get different stuff here. Medieval theme. Medieval theme set. Yeah, I mean, maybe I'll put I'll put in a chair here. I'll get some candles in. I don't look. I'm not. I'm not much of a. I'm not much of a. Uh, you know, a decoration designer in video games, but. But that's fine. Oh, hold on. We've got medieval stuff. That's fine. Probably right. Yeah, that'll be okay. Uh, med, uh, med, uh, medieval. Sure. Sure, medieval set. Probably don't want to have all of the, uh, components as vampire components, but I will, uh, I'll throw down, I'll throw down that set. I'll throw down that set. Medieval set, excellent, we'll get it done. At least now we have the capability to get uh, two products on the go at the same time, which will be quite nice. At least we can start work on, you know, the writing, which is, uh, which is the main thing. Also, I'm thinking that maybe I should adjust my working hours a little bit. Let's say eat for an hour, work, let's say eat here. And let's say a little bit more work because I'd like to see just a little bit more progress, please little bit more progress. Also, how are we doing research-wise? We got 12 research points. Uh, there are a lot of, a lot of things that require a lot of research points. Yeah, mystery, new genres, we need way more research points. And we're quite a ways away from that. Hmm, I want, might want to get some additional researchers. Okay, anyway, the point is, the giraffe and the driver is actually going to be finished at some point soon here, which is quite nice. Hold on, let's, uh, let's get the bloodied coffee. Let's get the bloodied coffee, uh, finished and primed. Choose set, medieval, direct scene. Let's get you doing, let's get you yelling. Let's get you yelling and, uh, and, and looking angry. That's nice. Medieval again, direct scene. Pan to each actor, animations. What do we fancy? Is there anything, anything medieval-y looking? What's a medieval looking, uh, what's a medieval looking action? Cyberpunk death holding sword. Sure, that's kind of medieval-y. Yeah, that'll do. Even though it's not necessarily cyberpunky, anyway, and then we'll just do default set uh, again. That's fine. I don't care about the video editor. We don't need to worry about that. Uh, we'll just sort of create the product and immediately set that up to go because it means that we can start work on the writing, which is which is good. The screenplay should be done. I mean, immediately. I would imagine. Uh, it's a pretty simple concept, but that is fine. Uh, the giraffe and the driver is officially ready to finish filming. I think this is going to be an absolutely terrible film, but you never know. It might not completely suck. Uh, remember, we could reshoot if we're not happy with the, the quality of uh, of the product, but I'm reasonably content. Uh, I'm reasonably content with this. Okay, uh, we're ready to start filming scene number one for the bloodied coffee. Cool. All right, couple of things that I'd like to do. I'd like to... I'd like to get another research office here. I really would. That'd be pretty good. 
given that we need as much research as we can possibly get. Maybe even two additional research offices. Let's do it. And we'll hire some additional researchers as well. Uh, where are they here? There we go. Two additional researchers. That's fine. We got plenty of cash in the tank. Uh, and by plenty of cash in the tank, I mean that unless this film makes an absolute killing, we are going to be... We're going to be completely stuffed. But we're okay. Are you the crew? Yeah, you need to be hurrying along. You're okay, though. Everything is looking good in terms of your meters. That's fine. Produces worse... Res your slacker produces worse results at work. Goodness gracious me. Either way, get the scene filmed. Come on. There we go. Looking good. Okay. Uh, product is releasing tomorrow. Should we start work on... Should we start work on another... Uh, Another film? We could very well do that. Um, I should point out, by the way, we got a few a few different things to consider over here in the uh, in the left-hand corner. Oh, I don't think that's actually been announced yet. The Giraffe and the Driver has got a score of 47 from the critics. That's quite good, given that it's absolutely garbage. Uh, land Prestige, Lot Prestige. We're, we're gaining stars. Stars is good. Uh, awards? Probably not. Studio Bank? Studio Net Worth? Well, it's decreased by 200 bucks since the last time that I uh, that I checked. Uh, also, I don't think that it's actually long enough to have... I don't think our eating hour is long enough to, to, to allow anyone to eat. Yeah. I wonder if we maybe want to change that up a little bit. Scene rating of 44. That's fine. Okay, let's see what the giraffe and the driver did. If you like movies with great actor chemistry, that's all the giraffe and the driver has to offer. Uh, but nothing remotely interesting beyond that. I mean, the story has potential, but the execution was agonizingly bad. Show score breakdown. Yeah, let me see what we've got going on. Hey, look at this. Um, our producer has uh, had a little bit of a fame, uh, a fame bump here. Same with our actors. That's very, very nice. Uh, their happiness has basically decreased across the board. Uh, production costs $86,000. That's quite a lot. Uh, the screenplay was quite good. Relationships between employees at the time of shooting, quite good. Screen performance, not great. Scene retakes, uh, apparently zero, but maybe we need to do something a little bit more there. Either way, that's fine. Filming, filming set novelty is good. Cameras are not great. Lights are not great. Microphone quality, practical effects. I can, I can do better. I can do better than that. Right. Ticket sales. How are ticket sales doing? $72,000? Holy cow! We've actually almost... We've almost broke even in like... On like day one. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, uh, let me quickly adjust this. So let's do... Work from six. Eat. Two hours there. Uh, work again for a little bit later. Look, this is this is Hollywood. We got to burn. We got to burn the candle at both ends here. I would quite like to get. I'd quite like to get some upgrades on this, on this lot here. Let's get. Uh, let's get some camera lights. Ugh, I can't even get. I can't even get. I can't even get a microphone because I I haven't unlocked it yet. That's annoying. I could get an additional camera if I wanted to. But that's not really, not really possible. Okay, well, let's skip forward until we've got, uh, we've got our crew back in here. That's fine. Okay, everybody is immediately coming into work. And instead of faffing around, we're going to immediately start. Okay, how am I doing research-wise? I've got 19 research points. I really need, I really need some better equipment. I need some lights. I need some microphones. I need something. I need something to I need something to get excited about. So let's get this research. Let's get this research done as quickly as we possibly can. And let's get the set. Let's get the set sorted. Uh, in the meantime, I think I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start work on another unbelievably probably an action medieval. 
Sure. We can at least start work on the screenplay. Let's go lore heavy, dialogue, story, atmosphere, nothing, conflict, nothing, suspense. Suspense should be quite high. Conflict should be quite high. Actually, this is action medieval. Let's get low on dialogue, low on story. Gore, leave it in the middle. Intimacy, lower it down. That seems kind of right. And let's get, uh, let's get you. We'll try and not over sort of saturate the number of scenes that we've got. God, all of the genres that I've chosen have got quite a lot, uh, quite a lot of scenes. Okay. Do I want to direct the scene? Yeah, let's see if we can direct the scene. Um, the stunt, we can actually change, we can change the stunts up. Uh, we need multiple, multiple actors for a stunt fight. Well, you know what? Let's do that. Um, direct the scene. Look at this. Look at this. This is a proper, this is a proper stunt. Sword fight. Yep. Uh, I'm okay with that. We don't have any practical effects. Nice. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks nice. Uh, direct the scene. Maybe we have like a... <laughs> I don't think... I, d I don't think it's particularly handy to have this... Uh, this in place. Let's get talking one. Talking two. Okay. And then this here. Let's do... Vampire bite. Vampire bitten. Okay. And can we get, can we, can they be lovers in the first scene? Is that possible? Arguing one, arguing two. Okay. I, I've created, I've created a not terrible movie. No, I'm just kidding. It's, it's probably going to be terrible. Uh, I'm also like absolutely bang out of money. So, we should probably take out a little, uh, a little loan. I would love a little loan. Uh, 70,000. I mean, we can take out, we can take out a huge amount of money. Let's take out 100,000 for 12 months, loan interest 1%. That sounds fine. Total payoff is 101,000. It's practically a free loan. It's basically going to give us two additional films to make. It's 50k a film, which uh, I think is completely fine. Right. Uh, the screenplay for The Irritated Piano, the action movie of the century, is is ready to go. Uh, the Bloodied Coffee is filming its third and final scene. We can get that done, and then let's get to work on The Irritated Piano. We might even be able to get that properly started before, before the end of the day. There we go. Let's have a little look here. Uh, what was the quality of the shoots? I'd kind of like to reshoot that last one. Yeah, reshoot that last one. We can do that after uh, after the irritated piano is finished. Okay, we actually made money. We actually legitimately made money on the giraffe and the driver. I kind of can't believe that. We entered the charts at rank four. That's kind of bonkers. Also, I'm pretty sure people are going to get unhappy if I don't feed them. And if I if I'm too uh, if I'm too much of a taskmaster, uh, bloodied coffee. How's that looking? The quality of the scene went up to forty three percent. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Qu quality forty three percent is okay. I think we'll just finish filming. Uh, we'll release the product. We'll get ready to release the product anyway, uh, which is okay. How are we doing research wise? Forty nine research points. Yeah. I really want to show off the stuntmen and the facilities and all that sort of stuff, but yeah, we're clearly, clearly not going to be able to do that unless we get a little bit more on the uh, on the research point front. The good news is anyway is that we should uh, toilets. We have toilets. You can go to the toilet. You don't have to like. Oh well. I guess everybody. I guess everybody goes to the toilet during the uh, during the lunch break. The Bloodied Coffee. What do we got? What's our score? One of the year's most anticipated titles turned out to be a complete letdown. It's a 46. 
Safe to say there won't be a sequel to this. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Uh, somebody doesn't know Hollywood. Okay, show the score breakdown. I mean, I didn't really have high hopes for this one, to be honest. Or indeed any uh, film that I've made thus far. The good news is, though, people are progressively becoming a little bit more famous. Everybody's becoming a little bit more upset with me, which is fine. Total production cost was 69000 Took three months. The good thing about this film... Oh my goodness, we made 77 k in a single week. The good thing about this film... I'm gonna get rid of that. The good thing about this film is that we actually managed to streamline the production process. It actually felt like pretty, pretty solid, all things considered. I would love to start work on an additional film, but I don't think I don't think I can yet. Or maybe if I want to, I should get a I should get an additional set. Or maybe modify this existing set here. I might do that. I might do that. Let's see if we can try and modify this set. Uh, yeah, let's go set here. Let's see. Set size, medium, large. Vampiric, medieval, gangster. What do I want? Probably medieval since it's the only thing that we can actually make. But we'll do medieval and we're going to have a lot of prestige. Although actually we don't have a, we don't have a proper vampire. There's different, there's different level of prestige though. Yeah, let's go. Med 2. That's fine. And let's see if we can try and actually have a properly themed... Properly themed throne. Okay, good. This almost looks professional. Look at this. Look at this. This is going to this is going <laughs> to this is going to break the bank. But it looks cool as heck, doesn't it? Let's get some little chairs for the advisors and whatnot. Okay, I mean this looks Unbelievably cool. I I kinda dig this. Let's save med2.set. Excellent. Get out of here. Yep. And I'd like to buy it, please. This is this is a good one. This is a good one. Oh my goodness, it's massive. <laughs> do we have enough space here? We do. Barely. And it cost me an arm and a leg, but uh, absolutely worth it. Right, uh, the irritated piano. Let's see if we can try and get one more production into into the mix. Let's get both of our both of our people. Script and writing genre. It's got to be romance. A romance medieval. We haven't done we haven't done much romance actually, have we? Director. Choose the writers. Excellent. Intimacy. Atmosphere, a little bit of story, not much lore, nice little bit of dialogue, low conflict, low suspense, low gore. We're happy with that. Choose set. Start on Medieval 2. Uh, we'll direct the scene. I could choose to not include the actors. Talking 1, Talking 2, that's good. Uh, med 2 again. Yeah, med 2 again. I just, I really want, I really wish I had more stuff, like, ready to go. Vampire bite. Vampire bitten. I, I don't really have many animations that I legitimately want to use. Uh, and then we'll do medieval here, and we'll just leave them just doing whatever they want to do. The set's a little bit less fresh, but it, it's okay. And we'll just go with that. Okay. We need to wait for the irritated piano to finish up here. That should be done round about the time that the piano of the tiger script is finished, which is real good. Have I, have I got any research points yet? No, I do not. Not enough research points. That's annoying. Irritated piano. Let's get that done today, please. Absolutely imperative that we get that done. 
because regardless, regardless of the quality of the scenes, and I must say, some of these scenes are getting pretty legitimately good. Nicholas, you've suffered an injury. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, July into August. Um, can we write you out? I don't think we can write, I don't think we can write our, uh, one of our actors out. That's a bit of a, a bit of a shame. Yeah, okay. The toilet situation is a little bit, a little bit questionable. Yeah. So the actors, unfortunately, are not going to be available until later. Right, how do we do in this film? The irritated piano, how do we do? I mean, I'm nothing if not consistent. I am nothing if not consistent. You know what, the, the real shame is that I, okay, first of all, I'm making an absolutely insane amount of money. I mean, 73, 73,000 bucks first week, and we still have, we still have movies raking in, you know, seven, seven, ten, ten grand. Uh, let's, let's jump forward in time. Um, the real, the real shame is that, uh, is that, is that we're going to have a member of staff down, a member of, uh, a member of the team down. We're not going to have anything to do today. I'm honestly content just for the researchers to go and do some research. Uh, what I could get you to do... Can I get you to... I can't get you educated. Again, I can't get you educated. I wish we could educate uh, and have our team, like, working on themselves and their personal their personal capabilities. But we just can't do that at the present moment without the, uh, the required research. God, everybody needs to go to the bathroom. Okay, well, tomorrow is going to be the day of the piano and the tiger. Which... I very much hope is going to fix all of our problems. It has to fix all of our problems. Because if this film flops, then we're in trouble. I will say, though, I mean, look. There's a little bit of progress. Things have gotten slightly better. Things have gotten slightly better. Okay, scene rating of 46. But look, this is such a gloriously looking, a gloriously good looking set. 49 scene rating. Come on, push it. Push it to the limit. Get us a rating of 50 here. If we get a rating of 50, we're, we're golden. Oh, we're back over to here. Ah, come on. One, one single, one single day. That being said, I am still making an absolute ton of money. Uh, bank loans were paying back eight grand a month. Uh, I could cut that out, actually. Actually, I can't pay it back early. That's completely fine. Okay, uh, how are we doing? Do I want to do any reshoots? You know what? Reshoot the first scene. Reshoot the first scene. We can do a little bit better. I've got all day. This is our last film. So we got to make this one. We got to make this one count. We're looking for an improvement on 46. 54? Uh, didn't want to. Didn't want to do that. Let's reshoot. Let's reshoot the two. Reshoot the two. The two. Didn't mean to reshoot that one, but apparently we, we reshot it and it actually got better. Which is quite nice. It went from a... It went up to a 54. Maybe if we reshoot again and again and again, we're going to be able to hit progressively higher and higher and higher amounts uh, on the reshoots. I mean, that is the point, really, is the point is that you're supposed to be able to create... Film rating, scene rating of 54. Yeah, let's uh, let's have a look here. Can't modify. Oh yeah, we can't modify the scene whilst it's being filmed. I forgot about that. Okay. 49 up to watts. Come on. I believe. I believe that this could be great. Up to 51. Do we want to try for a reshoot on the third? Let's do it. Logo of the telly movie uh, ink is visible it can only mean one thing. They made me an offer after watching the irritated piano. I'm afraid I have to take their offer unless there's a way to match their salary. Um, I will raise his salary, but only because I don't want him to leave in the middle of filming what could be my absolutely most seminal work. Okay, this scene is a 50. It's going to go to what? It's going to go to what? It's got to go up. Please, can we get this filming done today? I'm going to extend working hours because I want to see it done. I want to see it done today. Beautiful. We're going to get it done today. Please. Please. Literally, just needs to be done before midnight. 
Come on. Come on. Finish filming, release product, releasing tomorrow. It's a 50 as well. Okay, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't fantastic, but it could be my best film ever. He made a name for himself, but it seems to take in the downfall lately. It's a, it's a 52. It's a 52. Couldn't think they could ruin such a great premise. Well, um, what can I say? I'm, I'm reasonably happy with that. Technical wise, uh, we could do a lot more with this. I mean, look, we could do a lot more with everything. Production cost of this one was quite high. We did a lot of reshooting. Fame change. People have gone from fairly unknown to up and coming. Look at that. Some of our actors and producers, they're actually like moving somewhere. That's good. That's really, really good. How much do we make? 74k. It was kind of hardly worth it. I got to be honest. Um, we made... We made 72k with the bloodied coffee. Honestly, just re-release that thing. Just churn out the junk, apparently. That's the that's the strategy. Um, Blockbuster Inc., ladies and gents. Definitely one to keep an eye on. Check out the game linked down in the description below. I'm really excited for this one. I feel like we barely scratched the surface. Uh, there is a time limit with regards to this current version of the game. You can play up until, I believe it's the end of 1922. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, you do have a limited time frame. We barely explored any of the research stuff because, frankly, we didn't have enough time, although I could get lights. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful lights. We unlocked lights. Happy days. Uh, there's a lot of the research stuff that you can um, you can explore that we didn't get to in, uh, to in this. Uh, but yeah, very, very interested to see where this one goes. Can't wait to play more. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obit Potato. I'll catch you next time. Bye.